Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à Learn French by Suchita. Je m'appelle Suchita, votre enseignante de la langue française et dans cette vidéo, on va apprendre les objets dans la classe. That means the objects in the classroom. Before we begin with this video, I would like to introduce you to my website www.learnfrenchbysuchita.com where you will find recorded courses for all your French language needs. We have courses for DELF A1, DELF A2, DELF B1, TEF TCF recorded course, French phonetics as well. We have special courses for our school students ranging from grade 5 to grade 8. We also have courses for university students who are enrolled in certificate course or diploma course in Delhi University. And finally, we also have courses for our school students who are aiming to appear for their Delph Prem or Delph Junior examinations. So hurry up and check it out. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. And in this video, we are going to learn all the vocabulary related to the objects in a classroom. So objects in the classroom is known as les objets les objets dans la classe. So les objets, that means the objects. La classe, that means the classroom. So les objets dans la classe, the objects in the classroom. Let's start with the first one and that's a book. The book in French is known as le livre. Le livre. It's very, very important that you repeat after me. That means you will improve your pronunciation. Le livre. That's an exception. That ends with E, but still that's masculine. So you say le livre. That's masculine. By the way, all these are le, la, le. All these are definite articles. If you do not know what are definite articles and how do you use them, I'm dropping the link in the card above. You can watch that video and then come back here again. So le livre. Book is known as le livre. And we'll continue avec a notebook or the notebook. The notebook in French is known as le cahier. Le cahier. Remember, the letter H in French is always silent. So do not pronounce it as cahier. No. C'est le cahier. Le cahier. Pencil. Pencil in French is known as le crayon. Le crayon. Or some people also call it as le crayon de papier. Le crayon de papier. So both of them are correct. You can even call it as le crayon or le crayon de papier. Le crayon de papier. Pen. Pen is known as le stylo. Le stylo. Le stylo. It's not stylo. No. Le stylo. Le stylo. Pencil case or a pencil box in French is known as la trousse. La trousse. La trousse. Eraser is known as la gomme. La gomme. La gomme. La gomme. Sharpener is known as le taille crayon. Le taille crayon. Le taille crayon. Chalk. Chalk is known as la crée. La crée. La crée. Chair. Chair is known as la chaise. La chaise. La chaise. A desk is known as le bureau. Le bureau. Le bureau. Allez, on répète. Book. Is known as le livre. Le livre. Notebook. Le cahier. Le cahier. Pencil. Le crayon. Or you can also call it as le crayon de papier. Pen. Le stylo. Le stylo. Pencil case. Pencil case is known as la trousse. La trousse. It is a la gomme, la gomme. Sharpener, le taille crayon, le taille crayon, le taille crayon. By the way, this pronunciation I double L in French is known as E. That means whenever I double L comes together, double L is not pronounced. 
If you do not know the pronunciation of the combination I double L, I'm dropping the link in the card above. You can watch that video and then come back here again. Ali, chok la khe. La khe. Chair is la chaise. La chaise. And desk is known as le bureau. Le bureau. Le bureau. Allez, on continue avec board. The board, like this is a white board. So board is known as le tableau. Le tableau. Le tableau. By the way, the pronunciation of the combination EAU in French is O. If you do not know what is the pronunciation of EAU, I'm dropping the link in the card above. You can watch that video and then come back here again. So board is known as le tableau. Le tableau. Computer is known as l'ordinateur. 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 That's masculine. Un ordinateur. L'ordinateur. Door is known as la porte. La porte. La porte. Window. Window is la fenêtre. La fenêtre. La fenêtre. Calculator, la calculatrice, la calculatrice, calculatrice, la calculatrice. Poster, poster is known as la fiche. The pronunciation of the combination CH in French is known as CH. CH. If you do not know the pronunciation of the combination CH, I'm dropping the link in the card above. You can watch that video and then come back here again. So la fiche, la fiche. That's feminine. That's une affiche. La fiche. On continue avec ring binder. Ring binder are a fine in French is known as le classeur. Le classeur. Le classeur. Table. Table is la table. La table. La table. A sheet of paper is known as la feuille de papier. La feuille de papier. La feuille. Remember, I told you I double N pronunciation is E. We do not pronounce double N. La feuille de papier. Et finalement, CD or a disc is known as le disque. That's exception. That ends with E, but still that's main. Le disque. Le disque. Allez, on va faire une petite révision. Board is known as le tableau. Le tableau. Computer. L'ordinateur. L'ordinateur. Door is la porte. La porte. Window. La fenêtre. La fenêtre. Calculator is known as la calculatrice. La calculatrice. Poster is la fiche. La fiche. Ring binder or a file is known as le classeur. Le classeur. Table is la table. La table. A sheet of paper is known as la feuille de papier. La feuille de papier. And a CD is known as le disque. Le disque, that's an exception. Le disque. Allez, on continue avec a ruler. A ruler, or you can also call it a stain. A stain is known as la règle. La règle. La règle. A school bag is known as le cartable. Le cartable, that's an exception. That ends with E, but still that is masculine. So you say, le cartable. Le cartable. Now, shoulder bag. A shoulder bag, or you can also call it a backpack. That's known as le sac à dos. Le sac. Basically, le sac is known as the bag, and dos is your back. So you say, le sac à dos. Le sac à dos. A map is known as la carte. La carte. La carte. Locker. Locker is known as le casier. Le casier. Le casier. Scissors is known as les ciseaux. Les ciseaux. That's almost plural because it's a pair of scissors. So you say les ciseaux. A glue is known as la 
Lakolnau. 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 Next is a marker. A marker is known as Le Fertre. Le Fertre. That's an exception that ends with E, but still that is masculine. So you say Le Fertre. Le Fertre. A clock is known as L'Horloge. H is always silent, so you do not say it as horloge. No, say l'horloge, l'horloge. And finally, you have a dictionary that's known as le dictionnaire, le dictionnaire. That's an exception again. That ends with e, but still it is masculine, so you say le dictionnaire, le dictionnaire. Allez, on va faire une petite révision. A ruler on a scale is known as la règle, la règle. A school bag is le cartable main. Le cartable main. A shoulder bag is le sac à dos. Le sac à dos. So together it is sac à dos. Map is la carte. La carte. Locker is le casier. Le casier. Scissors is les ciseaux. Les ciseaux. A glue is known as la colle. La colle. A marker, le feutre. Le feutre. A clock is known as l'horloge. L'horloge. Et finalement, a dictionary is known as le dictionnaire. Le dictionnaire. If you like this video, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do not forget to hit the bell icon if you want to receive all the updates and reminders. And for this particular video, I'm aiming at least 500 likes from you.